Hey guys, it's early, it's, a day. it's, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so I suppose it's time to play some more Alien Noir with one Mr. Jack Kelso. Oh god, it's warm, it's early, I'm tired, I haven't had my lovely tablets for loveliness. So of course it's the best time to solve crimes. The best part about being Jack Kelso is, with no conversation going on in the car, I can just skip to destinations, thus making it quicker. The thing is though, um, this should be, or hopefully will be, another long one, so this should be another case solved, by now at least. But we gotta find some shit first. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Yes, they were, Jack. But, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Next door, decided to lovely, to be lovely and decide to, um, start doing housework at half eleven at fucking night. Which is just the business. I woke up at, uh, half four. I mean, I've had enough sleep. Bulldozing so, yeah. Again. Hope you're all doing groovy. I hope everybody's enjoying these, uh, these videos. Because I know I am. So, yeah. I'm wearing this part. I'm possibly going to get fucked by a bulldozer. But, you know. Whatever happens. the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter. And you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. Oh, why? Why all of a sudden, Jack? I came to see the house Jesus, two punches, is that it? You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate. All the right. house is down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. <coughs> then I'll poke around Sorry. in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're Alright, I have a lovely drink today. It is cherry tree cola. It is delicious and refreshing. Oh, so that's what the sprint button is. I haven't played this this shit in, in a while. Uh, jump, Kelso. Jump! Kelso. Kelsey. Kelsey Grandma. Place falls down and then they bulldoze. What gives here? I guess what? That shit's not for construction purposes. Honestly, really? Is are you not picking up on that? Alright. It's a, it's a brick. I only have to go around the back of the house and just jump into a pile of wood there. That's where the bulldozer is going to get me. Uh, I've squished myself in the corner and went around the wrong side. Obviously, we're in business today. Oh, I was Godzilla last night. Let's try to piece this together. That's not right. <laughs> really? I have to do puzzles. I'm going to sneeze, so uh I apologize. <coughs> That's me. Oh, if you if you're wearing headphones. Oh, I'm doubly sorry for that, because it was a loud one. And now it's for me to run. Jump, Kelso! Jump, Kelso! Jump, Kelso! Oh, shit! Uh, uh, uh! Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just keep running then. Because, goddamn, this is gonna take me a while. 
Oh, shoot the driver to slow the boulders down and aid your escape. I have to get all the way to the previous two. Oh, I've forgotten one of the glitches you can do, but holy fuck. Holy shit. Really? What the fuck? Like, really, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <sighs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> um. Yeah, fuck. Nah. Um. It's too early, and I suck to do. This is just save that shit for later. But you're like, you're supposed to wait for the third one, then shoot him. But he puts his fucking bulldozer shit up. So what am I supposed to do? Probably just accept it and take it in the ass. Why would you put me in the car when the fucking phone's there? Alright. Uh, music, music, music is not allowed. But like, really? Come on. Grown men playing at being bored. God, I feel another sneeze coming on. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? Uh, no, thank you, ma'am. I I apologize for my shitty attempt. <coughs> Pardon me. At running at a bull, run, running away from a bulldozer. Keystone Films, let's go! Are! Which means stop in French, so I don't know why I said go. This cork's the best. Ah. Uh. Shit, I am. Switch this bitch on. Ooh. Hi, Mac. I work for uh, textures. Fire and life. Just sorry. I'm looking into an yeah, just switch another plug on so I can charge my phone while no, doing this. Here. Gubbins. The housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So, I found some lumber over there. Had the Keystone name. Yeah. On. Keystone Phillips. Right. right. Now what? Never quite made the transition to talking. Uh. The suburban redevelopment fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? Nish. I'm kinda hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from the mm. Legion Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilson, Santa I really, Santa Monica. really need to get a desk mic. Because I have such an itchy fucking nose right now. It's unfucking wearable. Oh yeah, you can jump out fine, can't you? Oh god. Cost down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Something else around here. What's left in the building? Anything down this way? Hey, hey! Where am I going? There's a wooden horse. Screening room. Oh, projector. Creepy, sorry.
Of course, it plays from the beginning when they're in the middle of the scene. Great day for the future of Los Angeles. Civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon. Editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Donald Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree. All right, I get my idea. That's Ooh, that's good. The motion picture industry. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker get on the train at Union Station wants a part of. Right. That's right. Let's just leave that playing, shall we? Because, like, you can jump that like it's that. You can't jump a fucking pipe. Oh, hang on, another sneeze. Bear with us. <laughs> I'm back. That had a bit of a bit of wibble to it. Let come on. Get in the really Oh really. Oh really. And that was just tasty. This is Jack Kelso. I apologize for all the snorting, sneezing. Can you put me through to Curtis please? Coughing. But just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack! Uh, what are you gonna do, motherfucker? Do you know anything about the suburban redevelopment fund, Mr. Bar from complaining in the comments, which no one does because no one actually comments on these videos. Bar from one person that enjoyed a good pun that he made out of the title. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the suburban redevelopment fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Do it. Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I, I don't know. want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwater. Can you even... Oh, you can hear that. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Be flicking the analog sticks, by the way. It's not like... Hello? Ms. Lickman, it's Jack Kelso. Jesus, yes, long phone call, isn't it? I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? Here's a funny good. thing, everybody. We're nearly fucking done with this. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Of you to say, Mr. Kelso. Thanks. Well, I nearly finished this game. Yeah, that's something. What were you?
were you doing with him? Penis. I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend oh. came to ask me to accept oh. the insurance. He's not trying to make a my friend, mm -hmm. Elsa. Well, I think he's well, a he's brave man. You know. And you have placed him in great danger. I can't do it because I'm too thirsty. You've involved something. No idea of the reason. Oh, wow. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa. Can't he live with your textures, girl. And I hope me talking loud pisses all the neighbors off. Because, fuck it. They chose to live here. Cool. It's an alley. Stop it. Right. I think I might drive to this. I've got enough time, don't I? Do I have enough time? Do I have enough time to talk over the music, depending on how far away it is? <coughs> Sorry. Um, I wish there was like a better waypoint system than just a flag in the middle of a fucking map. Because hey. I can't tell where that is. Plus, I drive like an asshole. Because it's part of the job, I guess. Plus, you can't dive out of the car. Yeah, fuck it. Get out of the car. And drive. Because I want to get shit done as quick as possible. So I can move on to the other two games that I've been meaning to do. It was a Devil May Cry, Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge is going to be the worst one. Because I suck at first person shit. I mean, this, this is fine. Because it's detectives, and I like fucking detectives. No, I like I like detectives, not. Shh. Push yourself. Damn you. And and Devil May Cry is fine because, shit, it's it's a character action. I play God of War. Hit the X button loads of times. Y button sometimes. Speed to grab. You know, it's it's all the same shit. Yes, let's let's go into a lovely flickering abandoned house in the place that looks like this. It's a smart idea. Plus I'm aware of what's going to happen. Because, what? Well, no, I'm not aware of what's going to happen because I haven't finished this. Well, of course there's not going to be electricity. It's not even a... Nice wiring oh. job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. How's the upstairs light on them? That was because there's a light over here. Oh, look who it is, ladies, next. guys. I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on. Uh, what? What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Yeah. Bitch. One. But of course I'm supposed to lose. So fuck it. He just booped me. He just booped me in the top of the head. Ah, I just got the shit kicked out of me. 